So, can we replace with general neutral terminology the State yeah. Department says? Obama and this, 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 this sodomite and, and lesbian coalition ha has been trying to tear down the family structure since that man got in office. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to tear down something that God had ordained since the beginning. We've already read that. And w when they do this, they change God's law of morality. They try to change certain moral codes and, and with little play on words here and there. And uh, I believe the statement goes on to read, uh, a statement of the part from the State Department uh, website noted, these improvements, there we go again with that word, are being made to provide general neutral description of a child's parents in recognition of different types of families. Uh, well, there you go. That's the whole reason that they did it, so they could get the lesbians yeah. and the sodomites yes. in to uh, get their passports, yeah. along with their little sodomite children that they're raising, and their lesbian children that they're raising. And it's a shame. It really is. That, that, that's what gets me a little bit riled up, and maybe I'm a little bit of lost word, of words to, today, but... Uh, that, that, that's because I'm thinking about their, their future and their safety and their, you know, the conditions the children are in. It doesn't bother me about the adults, but what about the children? They have nothing to They have nothing to strive for when they're raising that environment. And uh, I'll talk about Obama. You know, I, I talk about his uh, lesbian and his sodomite coalition. But you know, uh, he's also the Antichrist, as our prophet brought out many times. Daniel 7, chapter, he shall speak great words against the Most High, against God's against God and so we're out the saints. So we're out to those who are speaking the truth. Hallelujah. Saints of the Most High, that's us. Yes. And to think to change times and laws. And that's what he's doing. He's changing all the times and all the laws he can change. He's changing the, a, a time when you didn't have to worry about this homosexual movement, the sodomite movement, the lesbian movement. Well, now you've got to worry about it. Why? Because he's in office. Hallelujah. He's promised them all these things. You give me an office, you, you elect me, and, I, and trust me, I'll take care of you. That's what he's doing. I'll, do, I'll change some laws, I'll change some time. Used to be a time when you wouldn't even think about homosexuals. Used to be a time when you could walk down the street and that didn't even enter your mind. Hallelujah. But he's changed those times. And used to be a time when also when a person was caught being a, a homosexual, a lesbian, a sodomite, and they'd throw them in prison. Right? They'd throw them into a place to, to where they could rehab. Hallelujah. It was considered a disease. And uh, Alberta, Alberta, Canada just removed today uh, homosexuality from its list of disorders I'm reading here today. And it was in Edmonton, Alberta, and uh, that was actually on January 4th, I apologize. They, uh, removed it from their home, they removed it from their list of disorders. And uh, they said it was, they were following the American Psychiatric, Psychiatric Association yes. and also the World Health Organization of uh, 1990. So they removed it, and it was considered a disease until then. Uh, along with uh, pedophilia, and uh, so, <laughs> praise God. And, uh, let's see, yeah, it appeared along, along the side of bestiality and pedophilia as a disorder, a mental disorder. So, uh, you know, it, it is proven, and, and the prophet has said it many times, that this, this, uh, this, this is a disease. It's, it's yes. a disease of the mind. It's, it's a disease that really uh, attacks the, the mind of an individual. Why? Because, uh, They've entertained the spirit, as Prophet alluded to earlier. They've entertained something that they shouldn't have been entertaining. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, you know, the world is full of things that, that, that the true church has got to watch out for. But I praise God that we are in the true church. I yeah. praise God that we have a true leader, glory to God. Hallelujah. I praise God that uh, you know, we can look at these things and we know what's going on. Hallelujah. We're not blind anymore. We're in the marvelous light, glory to God. I praise God for that. Hallelujah. And I praise God. Hallelujah. That we're not worried about changing to parent one and parent two. Hallelujah. We're, we're male and female. We've got beautiful children to go along with it. Hallelujah. In the back of the pray my strength from the Lord. Amen. And I want to go to 1 Thessalonians 3 and 5, which was a, a subtext. It said, For this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I said to know your faith, lest by some means a tempter or the devil or the false prophet or any type of negative or seducing yes. spirit that tempted you and our labor be in vain. That's what they're doing uh, with this sodomite and lesbian movement. They're trying to make it seem normal and everybody does it. But uh, until 1973, the APA had them on a list of medical disorders. But when the sodomites and lesbians, they would literally interrupt their meetings and a lot of the meetings they would take over the conferences and come against them and get people phone numbers and threaten them, then all of a sudden they had a vote and they took it off the list of medical disorder. But it wasn't because of medical science, it was because of pressure, man. And they got them running and they got them scared, just like they got politics and scared today. But True Life will never run for the devil's man. We're going to run for the devil's It's still a filthy, vile act. And them two lesbian priests um, who got married in Boston, 
uh, one of them was the Reverend Ragsdale. And I want to read some comments, amen, that she made back in 2007, saying that abortion was a blessing. Now, some of this may be hard to, and it's, uh, you know, but something needs to be brought out for the, the sake of rebuke. Now, listen to this. When a woman wants a child but can't afford one because she has the education necessary for a sustainable job, like that's a child father, you 40 and you ain't got right, a job. Right. It's not a child father, it's your father. Right. Right. Or access to health care or daycare or adequate food. It is an abysmal priority of our nation, the lack of social supports, the absence of justice that are the tragedies. The abortion is a blessing. And when a woman becomes pregnant within a loving, supportive, respectful relationship, has every option open to her, decides she does not want to bear a child and has access to a safe, affordable abortion, there is not a tragedy in sight, only blessing. Uh, the ability to enjoy God's gift of sexuality without compromising one's education, or in other words, go out and fornicate and play house, but not be a man or woman enough responsible to uh, take care of the baby. Yes. Life's work or ability to put to use God's gifts and call is simply blessing. There are two things I, I want you please remember. Abortion is a blessing and our work is not done. I want to thank all of you who protect this blessing, who do this work every day. The healthcare providers, doctors, nurses, technicians, receptionists, who put your lives on the line to care for others. You are heroes in my eyes. You are saints. The escorts and the activists, the lobbyists, and the clinic defenders, all of you, you're engaged in holy work. To Miss Ragsdale, you nothing but a demon possessed, psychotic, God hating, man hating, bull diver. What would you know about children? You got to have children. You got to be married to a woman on the day. And everybody who's involved in this so called sham of a wedding, God is going to punish you from this so called Reverend Shaw down to two levies involved in it. How can you talk about an innocent baby was a blessing? A baby can't defend itself. They depend on the mother for everything while they're in the womb on the day. Amen. You call that a blessing? You call that, you know what justice was? When that man walked down Lutheran church and, and executed or served justice to Mr. Tiller, who killed over 60,000 babies. First degree murder. God called it murder. Right. You call it a blessing on the day. So I'm just trying to let you know how demon possessed these people are. They hate God so much. They hate the church of God. They hate the property of God. But I thank praise God that we're standing on God's word. We're not going to sit idly by, man, while these, while these demon spirits yes. continue to have their way yes. and blast him against the word of God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We thank God for those comments from Elder Lashley and Elder, and Elder Willis. Amen. Yes. We want to bring out. Ecclesiastics 11 and 5. Amen. It's a very important scripture. Mm -hmm. yeah. And read. As thou knowest not what is in the way of the Spirit. Know how the bones do grow Hallelujah. in the womb Amen. of her that is with child. Yes. Yeah. Even so thou knowest not the works of God who make it all. Amen. Yeah. The bones, yeah. they grow in the womb. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Praise God. That, that, that's God's business. Yeah. Abortion, that's of the devil. That's yeah. the devil's business. Amen. Amen. But at you like we tear down the works of the devil. Amen. And then they have this subtle uh, phrase. I'm going to turn over to Van Jack. They say, well... Uh, you, you have too many kids. Uh, you can't feed the baby. Uh, yes. Well, if you can't feed the baby, if you can't afford the baby, then adopt out the baby. Yes. Do not abort the baby, amen. Yes. God said he hates people who shed innocent blood. Amen. And let's go there quickly. Yes, sir. I believe that's Proverbs. Yes. Let's go with Proverbs 6, I believe, in 16. These six things the Lord hate, yea, seven are abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, Hands that shed innocent, innocent blood. Yes. When you abort a baby, you are shedding innocent blood. The doctor who performs it and the mother who condones it or orders it is all one and the same. So we thank God for our children. I thank God I got five and one away, amen. I bless it from God, amen. 